Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Wednesday, May 4th, 2022. Coming to you first time this year from the deck out on the back of our house here. It's about 47, 48 degrees, something like that. Uh, so still need a need a light jacket. and and But the sun is shining and the birds are singing. You'll probably hear them over the course of this Devo. And I have the feeder right right there. We'll see if we get any action there uh, over over this time together. So, uh, check in time, how are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. Oh, leave, <coughs> excuse me, leave a comment or a question below if you have one. Do have some coffee here, so cheers, church. All right. So our devotion today comes from Christ in Our Home. And again, it's from uh, Pastor Gene Bradbury, retired from Squim, Washington and uh, attends Dungeons Valley Lutheran. And our scripture reading, which I forgot to look up beforehand, so we'll, we'll have to do that together, is 2 Corinthians 4, 1 to 6. So, 2 Corinthians 4, uh, Acts, Romans, 1 Corinthians, oh, Galatians, too far. 2 Corinthians 4, there we go, 1 to one to six. I got it. You got it? There we go. Oops. <laughs> I had it. Then the wind blew. <laughs> Therefore, since it is by God's mercy that we are engaged, engaged in this ministry, we do not lose heart. We have renounced the shameful things that one hides. We refuse to practice cutting or to falsify God's word. But by our open statement of the truth, we commend ourselves to the conscience of everyone in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves. We proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. There we go. Yeah. Good words by Paul there to the church in Corinth. And our, <coughs> excuse me, um, our Devo in Christ in our home is titled Ministering in the Dark. I don't know if you've heard, there's some sort of construction thing going on. You hear some banging up there. See, that's the, uh, there's an issue with uh, doing these outside, but uh, it's good to be out here again. So our, our uh, theme verse is verse 6. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts. The old preacher in Marilyn Robinson's novel, Gilead, says, History could make a stone weep. Those who have lived through wars, disasters, or death in the family know this. Sorrow is part of life on earth. What is the Christian's response? The followers of Jesus are called to be wholly present and a holy presence. The Apostle Paul admonishes the Corinthians to let their light shine out of darkness. In the darkness of grief and fear, we crave a light to show us the way. When a, when a minister walks into a room after a tragedy has occurred, he or she becomes a sacred presence. It may be as simple as sitting on the sofa and listening. When a young couple lost their child to heart failure, the pastor came knowing that no words could fix the pain, but she was a holy presence, the Christ light in a place and time of darkness. Paul writes that it is by God's mercy that we are engaged in this ministry. We are not alone as we enter the darkness of sorrow and fear with others. We've seen so many dark and terrible and sorrowful things uh, in our world over the past year, past two years, especially the past few months with the war between Russia and Ukraine, uh, the pandemic, and our own personal lives of of struggle and and things that have happened for uh, for us as individuals and 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 for us as a community, for us as a world, 
and the the uh, <clears throat> the motto, the mission statement, whatever you want to call it for First English, is to share the light of Christ and to remember that we have the light of Christ dwelling within us. We have the love of God in us. We have God, uh, Jesus Christ dwelling within us. And so uh, as the light of the world, with Jesus inside us, we are called to share that light with others and, that, and, and bring that light uh, with us as we go about our, our business in this world. So we share that light with people who are grieving. And uh, as it says, sometimes no words are can fix the pain so just being present and prayerful and there uh, means a lot to people going through really really tough times so uh, so yeah share the light of Christ you know that Christ dwells within you you have that light within you and uh, your call is to share that light so, so be a strong heart and good courage this day dear church Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your mask, distance, <clears throat> excuse me, as appropriate, all that stuff. We do all these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. Caring God, give us patience and courage to, to be the light of Jesus for others. In his name we pray. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Uh, enjoy the the sunshine and warm temps, if it's, especially if it's warm where you are uh, in central Wisconsin, Wisconsin, it's going to be a beautiful day. So get out and enjoy it. Peace.